to you today about Evotex pipetting by numbers STEAM pipetting practice. So if you are a Project Lead the Way Principles of Biomedical Science teacher like me, this actually comes with your 116 DNA analysis kit. And it's meant to be done before the students load their gels to give them some practice with pipetting. But if you teach one of the upper level biomedical science courses or you don't teach biomed, PLTW, but you want to do pipetting practice, this is available on Edvotech's website. And there are a couple different versions, which I'll talk about toward the end of this. Um, one is more advanced than the other. So I'm excited about this because it combines the skill of pipetting with artistic experience. And kids are going to end up making something like this. When you take the materials out of this large envelope, you're going to get several big sheets, four big sheets. I've already cut them apart. And those are materials for up to 10 lab groups. You'll have these pieces which are labeled 1 through 10. I did number 3 as practice. And each of them has roughly the same number of little circles on it for the students to pipette into. They get to practice using both a 0.5 to 10 microliter pipette and a 20 to 200. So for students to do this, you're going to need both sizes of micro pipettes and both sizes of corresponding tips. Also with your kit will come 10 of these test strips. So if students don't want to go right onto their beautiful canvas, they can add droplets to the test strip to begin. There are actually 12 of these, so you have a couple backups just in case. And you're going to get 12 of these small pieces of canvas, so if students finish early, they could create their own artwork. These are my attempts. Uh, I think students might be able to do better than this. I love this because the prep for it is so simple. You get your five bottles of dye. Navy, yellow, blue, purple, and red. And I went ahead and did the letters on the side. And then you get microtubes. So you can see I already have some of these microtubes set up. You're going to want to label the microtubes with the colors. I found it easiest to label on top because the dye is so dark that if you label on the side, it can be hard to actually see the labels. So I did label on the side, but I also put the letters on the top. You just aliquot your dyes into these. It was easy to just use a plastic graduated micropipette to save time. They're also graduated on the side, so you can estimate there's more than enough dye to fill them. Each team will need two microliter, two milliliters, sorry, two milliliters of navy and 1.5 milliliters of blue, red, yellow, and purple. So each lab station should be set up to have the five tubes for the student. They should have their test strip to work with, and they should have their canvas that has little circles on it. And then you might want to wait to give them this until after they've successfully completed their piece of the puzzle. Because you'll have 10 pieces, if you have more than 10 students, think about how you want to break it up. You might have, um, if they work in pairs, have them take turns, have one student do all of the circles that are 10 or less microliters and the other do the larger circles, or you could break it up by color. If you need to social distance your kids, they could take turns at the station. But part of what I love about this is they can't necessarily tell from their piece what the total picture is going to be. But when they're done, you put it all together and you get this beautiful piece of art. This could be a great thing to hang up in your classroom. There's also a more advanced version of this kit. So this one's meant to be done with principles of biomed, but there's a version that involves some color mixing. In this activity, they don't mix the colors, they just come ready. But they have one that you could use with upper level kids where they mix some colors, and these are the pictures they make from that kit. So I'm really excited to try this out with my students, and uh, hopefully you are too. If you do it, drop a comment below to say how it went. And I'm excited to maybe try out that more advanced kit with my upper level kids because those pictures look super cool too.